Really big news, um, international news as a matter of fact, took place at CERN over on the French Swiss border. Uh, that's the research center that Europe uh, has for um, nuclear research. Um, they discovered what people are calling the God particle. Now the scientists hate that use of that term, but everyone has a sense of what that means. It's a missing uh, particle like atoms, smaller bits of atoms, uh, that has been sought for years, but we never had the potential to be able to find it. We needed a big machine like the atom smasher that they have at CERN to be able to make this discovery. Now, they're being very cautious. They're not saying we definitely have the Higgs, this missing particle. Um, but they are willing to say that we're 99.999% sure that we've got the Higgs particle. So they're fairly convinced they have it. The only way you can do this is to create massive amounts of energy, which basically causes atoms to dis disintegrate into their basic parts. And they use atom smashers for that. And that they've used these things, accelerators, atom smash smashers, call them what you will, uh, but they've used them for decades to be able to break down atoms and find out what they're made of. And each time they got a slightly more powerful um, atom smasher, it meant that they could look a little bit deeper in and find smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. And slowly but surely, they built up this map of what atoms are made of, what all matter is made of, as a matter of fact, and how it interacts with other matter, how atoms interact with one another, and how the universe works. So it's fairly fundamental stuff. Um, but you use an atom smasher, you, you spin uh, particles around in this big ring um, and then smack them into a, a target or else, as that happens with this new machine, the Large Hadron Collider uh, at CERN, you send them in opposite directions around a, a ring and then aim them and crush them together so that they disintegrate. It's one of these discoveries that really is hard to get your head around. In terms of how we live and what we're going to have for breakfast and what we're going to do tomorrow, it really doesn't seem to have uh, much impact. It doesn't, it's not going to change our lives knowing this from that point of view. However, if we didn't have the Higgs boson, if we didn't have this little particle they've just discovered, we wouldn't exist. There'd be no way to glue atoms together to make things, to make planets, to make the universe, to make us. Um, th it just wouldn't be possible. So it's a hugely profound discovery that they found this thing. This, in a sense, it's, it's, they've built a, a puzzle up of how they think um, atoms and the universe and all of this works. And the, there was this little missing bit of the puzzle lost on the floor, under a sofa, wherever it was. Um, but the big collider at CERN has allowed them to actually find this particle and confirm that it exists. And the fact that they've already theorized now, the, the, the particle's named after Peter Higgs. He's a theorist who proposed the notion that, um, that we should be able to find this particle. It's going to be a very important thing. We should be able to find it, even though we haven't yet. And that was in 64, so that's nearly 50 years ago that he proposed this. Um, but now we have the, power, the powerful machine we needed to actually prove this exists. The scientists at CERN were very um, determined to let people know that this is only the beginning. This is really just the start of this whole thing. You kind of think this is an end point. We found this missing jigsaw piece. No, not at all. It's the beginning. Um, for starters, that little bit of 99.999% certainty, they'll reach 100% probably in another couple of weeks. Um, they're probably really at 100% now, but they're not admitting it. Um, just being cautious scientists, just in case something went wrong. Um, but they, they now will take this information, go forward, prove that they've got the Higgs, and then they'll study this, the Higgs to see what it's like. You know, they have a theory of what it should be like, but now they'll be able to experiment on it. They'll be able to get them to experiment on them. And it'll tell them a lot about how the Higgs works and how all of the rest of things work. Um, but again, that's only the beginning of what they're trying to do. They're trying to delve into other places where they haven't really looked closely and there'll be plenty for that machine to do. It really has to because it costs four billion to build it, four billion euros. And um, when they had it completed at the time, they were saying we would get very bad value for this money if we didn't make other discoveries aside from the Higgs. So while the Higgs is the big headliner, uh, there's plenty of other work for them to do. There was a theorist who proposed that they would be creating such an amount of energy when they smash these atoms together. It's just a colossal amount of energy. Um, it's like two locomotives smacking into one another head first. Um, so there's a lot of energy given off, but in a tiny, tiny, tiny space. Um, but the theorist held that what would happen is you'd create a black hole, a mini black hole, tiny little black hole, that would begin to do what black holes do, which is grow, and uh, um, absorb energy and absorb 
particles from around it and gradually build up and almost in a heartbeat suddenly become as big as the black hole you'd get if the sun collapsed, which is usually where, how you get black holes. A star condenses down. So this, they thought, he thought that uh, you'd be able to do this. Uh, this would be a consequence and that the thing was hugely dangerous. Um, now, the people at CERN dismissed this as an improbability, but they couldn't say, no, nah, this is never going to happen. So it persisted for a long time in the popular media where people were um, concerned that uh, maybe this thing would gobble up the Earth and then the entire solar system and this part of the galaxy. Uh, but hasn't happened yet and probably won't.